Hey everybody! Welcome to the stream. Happy uh, Monday to you. Start of a new week. That's a uh, that's a pretty good thing, I'd say. You know, all the possibilities of the week open before us. So today is Miscellaneous Monday. Uh, I am going to be working on fishing for that blooper in Link's Awakening because that is the last, the last shell I need. Um, I think there's like one more to finish like the figurines, but I can do that after the last one's unlocked after I beat the last dungeon, but the blooper I want to get done first. So we're going to be working through that. And if I'm able to do it, you know, early enough, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll head to the last dungeon, I guess. But uh, in the meantime, we're doing our Mario Kart 8 warm up because now we, we got to crack into the 200 CC. I did a little practice run last time and I didn't do too bad. So let's see, let's see what I'm able to manage here. Uh, we're gonna go with the same loadout as always. All right, yeah. This is gonna take some getting adjusted to, but I, I, I feel pretty confident that I won't have too much trouble. And when I go back to the mirrored ones, it'll kind of freak me out because everything's gonna be in reverse, but it'll be a lot easier because it'll be back at the 150 cc speed. Oh boy, yeah, and I'm just gonna do a quick warm up because uh, I meant to start at six, but uh, the pharmacy, I had to pick up a uh, refill on my vitamin D prescription and the pharmacy was, yeah, just being, you know, a lot, a lot of people in line pretty much, so it took like an hour, yeah. But it's all good. I ain't in any kind of rush, so. Yeah, we'll go for like half an hour here. And then uh, I might only go to like you know, 10. I don't want to stream too late. I still want to get to bed at a decent time. I've been going to bed a little late lately, so I don't want to. I don't want to keep up that trend and mess up my sleep schedule. It's already, you know, getting up a lot later and stuff. And uh, I like to be able to get up earlier. I always, I always like getting up pretty early because then you know you can get so much more done with your day. But at the same time, getting a lot of sleep makes me feel a lot better, just you know, mood-wise in general. So I don't know. I have to, uh, I have to figure out where the balance is at right now. Going to bed around 11 at night, getting up around 9 p.m. Um, you know, although if my alarm is set for 9, I often wake up. Uh, actually, sometime. Sometime before that, usually around 8, 8.30. And yeah, I'm, I do all right, I think. I think I, I, I'm feeling a lot healthier. You know, I was sick for a lot of, like, you know, March, April. But I've been, I've been doing a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot more energy. Part of that is because I just drank some coffee. It's a bit late in the day for coffee, but, uh, had to wait for my roommate to get home. Probably should have got decaf. Decaf didn't have the uh, the two times points at Duncan, so ah dip. Uh, so always going for those points. I really I only go to Duncan when they have some kind of double points thing lately. But I've still been going like a lot. They've been doing a lot of them because it's starting to get closer to summer. So uh, yeah, I. I got like a bunch of free drinks racked up, and I'm I'm done with that. Yeah, I also I already get them with less sugar and all that, so I'm not too worried about that aspect of it. I just uh, caffeine, you know. I stopped doing coffee for a while, not for any particular reason. I just you know wasn't feeling it, and uh, so kind of getting doing caffeine again. I'm finding myself to be extra sensitive to it, so I want to be a little careful not to burn myself out. I, I had a whole thing uh, around my birthday. In fact, on my birthday it was. Um, I, I had like a caffeine overdose. Like, it, basically, I hadn't had coffee in a while. And it was my birthday, so I was like, I'll treat myself, I'll have a little coffee. And my grandma, I was staying at her place at the time, uh, she was like, oh, do you want some coffee? 
because what she does is she'll brew like a bunch of pour over coffees for herself at the in the morning um and so she offered me one and i was like yeah i'd love some coffee and i should have realized something was up when i poured uh, some oat milk in it and it didn't change color because my grandmother likes her coffee very strong and uh yeah i i drank like half of it and i was like oh not nah, i'm feeling great and then you know my last couple birthdays i they used to be starbucks when you got your free birthday drink with the rewards program you could you know anytime that month and then they brought it back to like anytime that week but now it's like you have to get it on your birthday or you don't get it so the last couple birthdays i missed out on it so this year i was determined i was like yeah gonna go to the beach for a little hike with my my aunt and uncle and let's grab some starbucks on the way drink a nice starbucks on the beach, that sounds great. Um, the caffeine from the other thing had not kicked in yet. So I got like, I got just like a latte or something. It wasn't anything too, too wacky. But uh, yeah, so the two shots of espresso in that and the crazy strong coffee I'd already drank. Uh, just as we were at the beach, I was like, oh man, I'm like really, I'm speaking very fast, very excited and hyper. This is weird. I don't usually have this much energy. Um, and then we went to to lunch. We met up with my grandma again at lunch. And uh, that's as soon as I walked out of the car, I was like, oh, I'm feeling like lightheaded. I have like no appetite. What's going on? And uh, yeah, by the time we got back, to uh, my grandma's place, I was just done for. I felt so sick. Um, we were supposed to go to Cirque du Soleil for my birthday. Um, and I was like, oh, oh no, am I gonna miss, am I gonna miss Cirque du Soleil? Like, are we gonna not be able to go because I feel sick? And so like, even on the ride to Cirque, Cirque du Soleil, just feeling really woozy, motion sick, just, really not feeling it. I'm like, I'll just tough it out. All I gotta do is sit for Cirque du Soleil. I just don't want to disappoint everybody by, you know, wasting their time and everything. Um, but as, literally as I got out of the car and just walked in the cold northwest air to Cirque du Soleil, I, I, it cleared up. I felt way better. And, uh, yeah. I, uh, I was fine after that, you know? Drove, or like rode back uh, to my dad's place. And he, he always keeps like a bunch of like cashews, almonds and stuff in his car. So like, just, just had some cashews, felt fine. It was just, yeah, I really overdid it. Just freaked myself out. So I've been kinda, kinda shy around caffeine since because the, the couple of times after that too, I was just like, super sensitive to it and I'd get kind of like even even just like a plain cup of coffee I was just like I'm feeling kind of jittery and gross but uh I'm doing better with it now just I'm not trying to do too much there was a point I was doing um pre-workouts the the uh Redcon 1 Total War pre-workout I got it originally because Kenny Omega who's one of my favorite wrestlers he did like a thing with them ah, dip every time it's that area that gives me trouble every time um, but uh, yeah he was doing like a collab with them to do his own V trigger was the name of it uh, flavor of pre-workout it was like Lemonheads flavor basically and you get a shirt. So I, I just, I got a cool Kenny Omega shirt that's like my favorite workout shirt now. And I uh, got some pre-workout and I tried it out and I was like, man, this is, this is hardcore. And yeah, it's super hardcore. It's like 300 milligrams of caffeine and um, just like a bunch of other stuff. Like you literally can feel like your capillaries opening up. It's so like, extreme 
which, you know, it's it'll get you ready to work out for sure. But uh, yeah, I was doing that for a while and it just burned out my caffeine receptors hard. Uh, I still have some left. The green apple, because like, as much as I love Kenny Omega and I got it because of him, uh, yeah, I didn't like the trigger very much. It just, it tasted really gross. Like, it'd be kind of nice and pleasant at the beginning, but then, um... Ah, dip. So close that time. Uh, yeah, after the, the, like, aftertaste was just vile, frankly. It tasted, like, super bitter and, like, it's all, like, poison, basically. Um, so green apple's a little better, but I just, I haven't been using it because it's too much caffeine. What I've been using is GG Sups, which I've mentioned on here before. Which is just, it's just like a G Fuel competitor, um, you know, and it's only like 100 milligrams of caffeine. Got some good flavors, and uh, yeah, I'll use that as a pre-workout. It's, it's only amount, uh, it's only the amount of caffeine of one cup of coffee, which is fine. I just, I, you know, if I'm working out in the morning, I just, a little, little boost, that's all I need. Plus it's got some other things like, um... There's like different supplements in it for, duh, for like vision acuity because it is like you know for gamers. Um, and yeah, it's just it doesn't feel like a super hyper energy energy drink. It's just like yeah, it just uh, it's just tasty, you know. It's just tasty, and it gives you just that little bit of edge. It makes you feel just that tiniest bit sharper, you know? It doesn't make you feel like you're, like, gonna blast off into the stratosphere. It just makes you feel like, yeah, I feel, I feel more awake. I feel, I feel focused. Which is very good, especially, like, on marathon streams, it's been great. Like, a couple marathons I've used it. That Banjo-Kazooie marathon. 12 and a half hours, I had just like one little thing of the GG Sups halfway through that, and it was like, yeah, that's exactly what I needed to get through that last hump. Because, wow, it was... That Banjo-Kazooie stream was, like, it was great. It was super fun. But, like, yeah, it, it was pretty brutal. By the, by the end of that, I was just so done. I don't know, and I have plans. I have plans to do longer ones for like very important things in the future. You know, definitely, definitely more charity streams. Oh, uh oh, uh oh! No, oh, no, I'm in the sand. Go, 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 go! So I hope y'all are ready for that. I'm not gonna do every marathon a charity stream. I'm still gonna do one a month. Um, but I will do like. Uh, like twice a year, maybe? Like every six months or so, I think. Maybe more often, maybe less. I haven't nailed it down yet, so, you know, I'll let y'all know for sure. Nope, did it too early. Did it too, every time on this specific track, I do it too early. But it's fine, because I, like, catch back up real quick. The big one with this race is that, like, super, curly Q section in the middle. Gotta, gotta figure out how to deal with that. This part. You know what? Yeah, I don't even need to drift. I think that's my big thing, is I keep thinking I need to drift. But, uh, looks like if you angle it right, you can basically just go straight through. That's what I will do. There we go. Save this red shell. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna... That's, I think, the biggest thing. Ah, dip. That's the biggest thing with Mario Kart at the higher speeds, is just knowing when... when to drift and when just don't. Don't, don't drift. Like, you'd think, like, drifting is always the better option, right? Because you get the boost, but, uh, nah, there's many times where drifting was probably a bad option. Because despite the boost, 
if you if you can't get a decent boost, then you're you're actually losing stuff, and it can make uh, maneuvering a little difficult. Please, please let me through. Let me through. Ah, it's so close. Ugh. Each of these attempts is very quick because of how short these early tracks are and how uh how fast we move, but yeah. Woo. I had some pizza earlier. Cause, you know, again, I I I don't necessarily like to eat before streams because it makes me feel kinda heavy and sluggish. And uh Maybe a little gay. See. In general, you know, eating before you perform is uh, not the best idea. But uh, in this case, it was just like a light pizza. It's like uh, some Publix brand. Um, oh, it was like sage. Oh, it's like sage and cauliflower sausage. Cranberry and kale pizza with like a creme fraiche sauce, which I've been trying to avoid dairy uh, a bit, but I I finally figured out straight up dairy like whole milk or whatever or cream that'll mess me up. That's just too much. But um, like cheese, cheese is not as bad because a lot of the lactose has already been been dealt with in the uh cheesing process. I don't believe that's what it's called, but don't at me, cheese makers. Unless you're gonna make me some cheese. So I wouldn't probably eat like straight cheese most of the time, but uh oh my god. But uh I can handle like a pizza where it's mostly mostly starches and some other cheese. But like uh, little Caesars pizza nah too much grease I think that's the thing more than the um more than the lactose is the uh the fat is what's messing me up my gallbladder has like issues so you know the greasy pizza it's bad for my guts and we're gonna, whoa. no 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 please please oh god let me finish yeah Oh, oh, he was right there. Oh, good lord. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I had the Twitch app open for stream markers. Come on, open back up. I specifically opened it so that I would be able to just drop the marker. I'm going to start labeling these. Because I, I'm going back to highlighting them every week. Especially now that I've got a, a regular streaming schedule. But uh, yeah, that process is a little, a little frustrating if I don't remember why I uh, marked something. I gotta like scoot back and like check like did I make a joke? Did something interesting happen in the game? Was it like a glitch? And it's uh, yeah, it's a lot of... A lot of scrubbling around, you know, scrubbing, scrubbing through the video to figure out what, what the heck is going on. All right, this one didn't give me a good. This one didn't give me as much trouble. Uh, on my practice run, so I think, I think I'm mostly home free. Like, there's always RNG that can mess you up. But I think I might be able to get the Mario Cup here. That'd be nice. Or not the Mario Cup, the Mushroom Cup. Mushrooms get a raw deal. Uh, no pun intended. In these games, because it's always like, Ugh, the simplest, easiest one is the Mushroom Cup. It's like... Yeah, but mushrooms are pretty nice. I guess they are the most basic item in Mario, so... It makes sense for them to be basic, but... I don't know. I feel like... I like mushrooms. 
Yo, you fry up some mushrooms, criminalize those bad boys. It's pretty delicious. No, no, Mario. Mario. Ooh, uh, is that shortcut through the middle that I always want to take? It's hard to get to. Whoop. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, no. Please, let me get past him. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's going to be close. Give me the boost. Yes! Ah, oh, I zipped right by him right at the last second. That feels good. Zipped right by mushroom 200 cc get. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Third, third try on that one this time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Getting the hang of it. 200 CC, it's definitely, definitely very tricky, but uh, I think I won't have too much trouble until like, like halfway through. I don't want to sound too cocky, but uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to do all right. Having the top speed honestly feels like having a high, um, feels like having high acceleration in this, this, uh, CC, you know? Because, like, everything's just so sped up that even if you get knocked back, it's like within a moment you're already back up. All right. Gotta learn the lay of the land here. If I remember, this is the one with the Monty Moles that you can use as a, uh, a boost. I can't bother grinding through that. Yeah, holding the the items behind me as a block is way more useful than uh, just trying to let them go in timing, you know? It's a little cumbersome because you gotta hold the left trigger, but it's not too bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, oh, thank you. Can we make a caffeine free GG subs? I think that'd be my question, because I like the flavor of it. It's sugar free, and I do like the, the eyesight stuff, because like my allergies mess with my eyes a lot. And as you can probably tell, I wear glasses, so obviously I have eyesight issues. Um, I am getting new glasses soonish. When I <laughs> scheduled it, I couldn't get anything before like June, so that's still gonna be a while away. But I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna aim for uh, the blue light blocking, kind of like gunner glasses stuff, which I had before and loved. And the, um,. Just like prescription shades, because these are transitions. And it's okay, but they never get as dark as I want them to. I want, like, super dark shades, because my eyes get really hurt by the light. But, yeah, I want prescription wraparound shades. That's my joke. Because I keep getting... I'll buy, like, wraparound shades. Um, I don't know. I, I'm frustrated, because back in high school, I bought, like... I bought a set of wraparound shades, just like silver wraparounds uh, that were like 400 UV, so like super dark. And they lasted me like all high school. I got them for like five bucks at a truck stop and they were great. But now I try and get the same thing, I think even the same brand that I got those ones and it's like they break immediately. They're so poorly made now and it sucks. Like. Going back to my thing about how everything is made like crap nowadays. Like those, those those were super, super good before. And now they're like, you have to pay like three times as much and they just break immediately. And it's like, I can't, I had to stop after two. I was like, I can't. These literally break after like two uses. I can't keep wasting my money on 
these sunglasses if they're gonna keep doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, go online or something and find, like, not, like, the crazy cheap glasses, but, like, something that's, like, a reasonable price. I'll spend as much as, like, 30 to $50 on a pair if they're gonna last a while. It's just my thing with them is, like, they have to last. They, I need to be sure that, like, you know, it's o only gonna be $30 every six months at least not like thirty dollars every month or every yeah month because with the super cheap ones it would have been every week literally like every time i like put them in a bag or anything they just get smashed and the frames would be destroyed So frustrating, man. I hate, I hate the lack of build quality we got nowadays. Cause you go back, you go back not even that far. Like, literally like, uh, you know, 12, like 15 years ago when I was in high school and the, the build quality of stuff was way better. You could buy stuff super cheap and still expect it to like last at least a little bit. And now it's like, no, everything is just like super crappy and breakable. Like they're charging 20 bucks for something that would be laughed at at the dollar store. And the dollar store isn't even a dollar anymore. Now it's a dollar 25. I thought everything was a dollar at the dollar store. Come on, man. That's the thing that's really irks me, is there's literally no reason for that. They can afford it. They can easily afford to still do a dollar. Cause like, I'm sure they've lost a ton of business from people who are appalled that they're dollar twenty-five now. Like, I just hate all of this nonsense of these huge corporations implying that they are affected by inflation. Like, yes, they are, will be infected by inflation to a degree, but like, I don't know. I, I think it's also annoying that they're acting like inflation is the fault of wages going up. That is not the truth. That is fully just wrong. Inflation is occurring because the economy took such a big hit from COVID. All right? These companies can definitely afford to pay these wages and better, they just, you know, they don't want to take a hit from all of the executives because it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. Literally every executive, everybody who is not in the, lo like, what was it? There was a statistic, I don't remember exactly what it was. But it was effectively, it used to be back in like the 70s, the CEO of a company would not be paid more than like 20 times the lowest paid employee. And now it's like this one I remember. I'm not sure what the original number was back in the 70s, but nowadays they're paid 500 times what the lowest employee is. That's ridiculous. That's bad business. That's, like, even Henry Ford, who was a total piece of garbage, like, hyper-capitalist, he recognized that if you take care of your employees and treat them with respect, then they will be able to do better work for you. And they'll be able to buy your products. Like, if you pay them enough and give them time off, they can buy your products. When I worked at Starbucks, like, they give us an employee discount, but they did not pay us very well. So it's like, instead of just staying in the store on my lunch break and buying one of their sandwiches for a reasonable price, I, you know, which they did, that's my point, is it wasn't a reasonable price for my wage, because their sandwiches are so expensive. I would just go to the subway next door. So they lost my business even while I was generating revenue for them. And it's, it's super ridiculous because Starbucks, like it, that Starbucks specifically, we were doing like 50 orders an hour most days, which means that 
Even if each order was our cheapest coffee, that would be a hundred dollars. There would be four people working, which means that all of us working at like ten dollars an hour. Not even ten. No, no, no. At the time, it was like eight dollars an hour. So like they made their money back just fine. And that's assuming it's the lowest. Most of the times it was like a latte or a frappuccino, which are five to seven dollars each. And multiple of them, so at least $250 that they were bringing in in revenue. Often so much more. And I j And they try and act like they can't afford to pay us more. I, w I was so frustrated. So frustrated. Oh, is that not the next one? Oh, yeah, it goes across. Well, does it, though? Huh. For some reason, I thought it goes d d uh, zigzags. Okay, let's go to the flower cup next, then, instead. I guess it doesn't really matter what order I do them in, but, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna try and keep a solid progression. So we're gonna do, yeah, one more run here, and then I'm gonna go to the main event of the evening. Oh, too early. Much too early. Enough about the economy, though. You guys get that. Every I'm sure you guys are living through that. You know? I would say the big thing, don't believe anyone when they say that uh, things about the economy are politics or not common sense. If someone tries to convince you that it's more complicated than it is, they are lying and benefiting from it. And if someone is trying to convince you it's politics, they're trying to silence you because they know people, they know that polite people will not discuss politics. So they're trying to prey on your politeness and your manners to convince you not to talk about it, when in reality, the average person talking about the economy only makes for uh, better things for everyone aside from the people on top. They don't want the the the, uh, the lower classes to talk about it because then that means that they'll recognize that they're getting a raw deal and they'll revolt. But we should revolt, frankly. It's ridiculous. Even me, who's out of that situation now, making decent money off my own sweat and blood. Like... Even I'm like, yeah, I would join the revolution. I consistently speak in revolutionary terms to begin with because I believe everyone deserves a fair wage and the fair rights. Although, frankly, I'm full like ANCOM, dude, full anarcho-communist. I don't think we should have money. I don't think we should have leaders. I think everybody should just have a one-to-one -one vote say in things. Everyone, um, what is it? All, all things assigned to all as per their need. Basically just, if you need something, you get it. Like food or healthcare, you know? And I know a lot of people are like, well, then we won't have scientists and things. It's like, dude, I don't know if you recognize this, but scientists do not make great money. They make enough to live off of, for sure, but they're not like rock stars or anything. They make decent wage. Most people who are doctors or scientists do it because they want to help people, because that is something that they are passionate about, and there are many people who will still do it. And. A lot of people who would love to be doctors or scientists who weren't because uh, they couldn't afford it. Because medical school and the higher sciences, it's just college in general, expensive. Very, very expensive. So there's many people who are gate kept out of that by sheer cost. And that wouldn't be a problem if we didn't have money. Um. Similarly, uh, we wouldn't have the problem we have in America where there's a lot of doctors who are 
super not into it, who only got into doctoring because their parents wanted them to, because it was, you know, a decent wage. Like, they're in it for the money. And that's fine, you have to be, but it's also like, they clearly don't want to be doctors and are not good at it. Like, I'm not saying distrust doctors whole cloth. There are many people who are doctors for good reasons, who are good at being doctors. But there are also many, many doctors who are very, very bad at what they do because they have zero passion for being a doctor. Like, they only did it because it is one of the better paying careers in our country. And that scares me, frankly. That really terrifies me that, uh, that we, uh, ugh. no! Ah, Isabel got it. That really terrifies me that there's people who are just, like, cruising by, working week to week just to get a paycheck, and their uh, people's lives are on the line. And you can look at pretty much any other country where people become doctors because the people become doctors because they want to help people and they know they're just going to be getting a government wage like those countries have better healthcare overall like it's cheaper for everyone including the government who are paying for it and it's overall better like, I hate that we have to pay out the nose for healthcare in America, and then we have the worst healthcare. Like, it's, it, our healthcare is awful. We have to pay, it's so expensive, and we just end up with garbage. Like, and the only reason it's so expensive is because all the prices are jacked up by insurance companies. The hospitals charge insurance companies exorbitant rates, because they know that the insurance companies can afford it. And that means that if you don't have insurance, you're charged the insurance rate that is ridiculous because they expect you to negotiate. But they also recognize, like, that's the thing, it's very malicious. Because they try and be like, well, why don't you negotiate? It's like, why would most people negotiate? Most people are not going into a hospital or a doctor's office to make a, free, a business presentation, a business deal. They're going to get better. They're focused on their sickness or their injury, as well they should. And having to pile onto that, like that's the one of the most frustrating things to me is I have insurance, but every time I want to go to the doctor, want to go to the dentist, like, it's a nightmare to negotiate what uh, what will be covered, what won't be. It's like a whole chore. It's like a whole job unto itself to figure out, like, who can I go to? Where can I go? Like, all of this. And I'm so worried about that that most of the time I'm like, I won't get this thing checked out that might be important. You know? It could kill me, but who knows? It's It's easier to just ignore it than to have to go and deal with insurance because the insurance companies are intentionally a pain. Because if they made it easier, then you'd be able to, uh, you'd be able to get more money out of them, which is what they don't want, despite charging you so much money. Like, I pay 130 bucks a month for insurance. Well, 140 if you include the dental. And they, they don't pay for practically anything. The most they do is quote-unquote negotiate discounts for me. Which, yeah, sure. Certainly cheaper than not having insurance. But it's like... It's so expensive. It, it's so expensive and it's just like covering the bare minimum. The vast majority of people cannot afford that kind of stuff a month. Full stop. And that's with the Marketplace ACA insurance. Which is just trash, dude. I'm not going to go through them again if they're going to be charging me that. I only went this time because it was already so late in the year that I was like, ah, fine. But yeah, this next year, if like that's the bracket I'm going to be in, I'll be like, well, no. I'm just going to go get my own private insurance. 
that will like actually be decent. Why would I go through the marketplace if they're barely saving me anything, you know? And the ACA was already terrible though. To be frank, like the brackets were ludicrous. Like ludicrously tiny. And the prices are still ridiculous. 200, like, hundreds of dollars a month is not something the average person can afford as any bill. Like, especially if you're paying rent. Like, the rent in most places is so ridiculous that adding another couple hundred bucks on that, you might end up on the streets if you have, a, have to pay hundreds for insurance every friggin' month. Absolutely ludicrous. Like, I don't know who... Who thought that was a good idea. I mean, even looking at, like... Um... Looking at the people who, like, put the ACA through, it's, like, it's pretty clear that it was not actually meant to help the people. It was meant to help the insurance companies. It was basically a way for the government to pay insurance companies directly. So it's not really even better or cheaper insurance for anybody. It's just a, a trick to funnel money back into all of the insurance companies that were lobbied to all of them. It's, yeah, I find it frustrating. I think money should not be involved in politics. I think politicians should have a, like, politicians should have a much tinier salary. I'm talking middle class at best. You know? And you shouldn't be allowed to accept lobbying money, period. Period. That should not be legal. I don't know how it is. It's because the people who make the laws are the ones who get the money. Obviously, it's just... It's frustrating, but whatever. That's the uh, end of the warm up here. So I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'll be our back with the main event, some Zelda fishing in Link's Awakening in uh, just a minute. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. Be our back with uh, Link's Awakening in just a minute.
Hey, I have returned. We're gonna get into this. Oh man, I have not. Um, I have not played this in quite a bit. This is the more recent one. Yeah, hopefully I can do decent in the fishing mini game. The thing I have to do is catch a blooper of a certain size. And nothing says what size it is. They just say. A certain size, you know, a large one, but like, how big specifically, I don't remember. But we'll find out when it gives me the thing. Hold on, actually. 
Let me check. Is it memories? There we go. Yes. Yeah, this is the last secret seashell of all 50. Um. Right? Yes. Ah, <sighs> so let me, uh... Yeah, gotta keep working at it, basically. God, I forgot how good this game looks. Whoops, I went with the tiny lure. Uh, that's fine. I'll catch one of the little ones first, and then we will, uh, switch to the better lure. I remember... Whizzle it around. Get, you know, a little higher. You can make them be like, oh, shit. Is that a tasty snack for me? Oh, you want to be careful. Don't let them snap your line. There we go. It's just a little fish. Yeah. Plenty of fight. I dream bigger than that. Let's see, 11. Yeah, let's change the lures. Heavyweight. So we can get the big boys. The thing is I'll make my money back as I go. Cause uh, it is uh, only 10 rupees to play. But, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. you can make back your 10 rupees pretty quick, even on a small fish. Ah, dip. That's all right. I'm trying to clear them out anyways. So, yeah, we want to get rid of as many of the cheap cheeps as we can. Or no. We want the cheap cheeps. Cheap cheeps are better. The regular fish we want to kind of deal with. So they just kind of clog it up. There's only so many fish that can be in one area at a time. So yeah, we gotta, gotta get rid of some of these other ones. Come on now. Give me a little click, 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 click. Being too boisterous. I got this, I got this. Don't you want the tasty snack? Come on, come on. There we go. Tasty little snack for you. Yup. You gotta dream bigger than that. Yeah, let's go again. Let's clear out these little guys. that we can get. Get the one we want. Oops, I gotta cast it further, I guess. We're looking for bloopers, baby. Gotta get a big old bloops. Yeah, there we go. Planted a little fish. Oh, that's not gonna give me anything. Six rupees, right? Oh, nine, okay. Didn't quite make my money back, but did okay. Oh, come on. Have a bite. Have a bite. Have a bloody bite. Come on. 
get this big boy. You don't want to give them too much slack, because if they get too far away, they will let go. But if you pull too hard, they'll break your thing. Your line, that's what they call them. Thirteen. I ain't trying to make a profit, but, you know, I could tidy up. Please, 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 please look at me. Okay, let's try and get this bigger boy. It's pretty close, too, so it'll be a lot easier. Ah, oh, I did, I scared him. Come on, big boy. Come get some. He's interested. Huh? There it is. Get him. Nice. That's a couple. That's a couple at least. That's a lunker. Yeah, absolutely keep going. Get rid of these small boys. They ain't too helpful. And they're pretty easy to sweep out, you know? Just a matter of getting them to actually bite. It's the big thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is gonna be just a chill, relaxed kind of stream. Just some fishing, you know? It's Monday. We're all, we're conserving our energy for the week, am I right? You gotta pace yourself. You want your week too hard, you end up exhausted by Wednesday. You go into your week at a good pace, then you, you make it through to Friday, no problem. And hey, Friday is when my other streams are. Fridays and Saturdays. Monday is miscellaneous Monday. Fridays and Saturdays are the main game. Right now, I'm playing uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm about halfway through that game, as far as I can tell. And then, next one after that, depending on how long it takes me, I'm going to probably play... Uh, I'll play uh, Kirby 64. It's coming out on the 20th on the N64 expansion pack for Nintendo Switch Online. Or, if it's out by then, Card Shark. I really want to get into Card Shark. I'm playing through the demo and I'm just, I'm so stoked. Check it out, dude. It's going to be awesome. It's a game about cheating at cards, it's Devolver. Which, Devolver, it's hard to nail down what their brand is exactly. You know, I couldn't describe it necessarily. But, like, if you asked me to describe a game that would be good for Devolver Digital, I'd be like, I don't know, kind of quirky, interesting concepts, uh, distinct visual design, I guess. But when you... When I hear there's a new game from Devolver and I hear what it is, I s get a look at it and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. That's, yeah, that's definitely a Devolver game. Like, they, they have a very specific brand. And I like it a lot. I, I've, so far, I've enjoyed every Devolver game I've played. Um, yeah, Card Shark, super stoked. It is a, it is a, like, uh, a game where you cheat at cards and it uses actual card cheating methods. Ones that aren't going to work anymore because, you know, pretty much any casino or 
gambler knows how to get around him at this point. But yeah, super cool because you can learn about it from a academic point. I am not saying anyone should cheat at cards because that's a good way to get yourself killed in some places. Um, but it's a it's interesting concepts and a lot of this stuff is sleight of hand that can be used in uh, magic. So I'm, I'm super stoked to go through all that game and just, yeah, just play it through real thorough. 100%? Probably. I'd love to, I'd love to play through that 100%. Maybe not 100% on stream, necessarily. Oh, we got a blooper. We got a blooper, ladies and gents. And everyone bent, folks, everybody out there. That blooper. I need him. He looks pretty big. Coming for it. Gonna get it. Huh. Take the take the bait. No. Nope. Hold on, let me try it again. Ah, it looks like he would have taken it. Okay. Watch for it. He turns. He tilts to towards it. Are you interested? Oh. Oh, we got him hooked. Don't bust off. Don't. No! Oh, I missed him. Sure. Is he just done for? Is he gonna run away or can I take another shot at that? Yeah, looks like he's just running away. Man. It's fine. I got plenty of time. Nine rupees. Sure, let's... Of course we're gonna keep going. This is my goal for the day, is to get this dang blooper. I worked on it for so long when I was still doing this before, too. And it's just like, yeah, I just was not able to manage. So I think I will say this is going to be the last stream of me trying to attempt this. If I'm not able to get the blooper within this stream, I'm just going to do it off off camera. I know. I know. It's just I've this will literally be like my third full stream of trying to get this. So yeah, you, if you want to see me trying for it, you got plenty, plenty of footage to go back to. All my past streams are archived, so you can check it out. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, it's a lot, man. It's, it's difficult. Like, for a cute little side game, it is surprisingly uh, pretty tough. I think I should be aiming for the larger fish, too. I think the, uh, the bigger fish are going to be a little bit better. Yeah, let's keep going. Come on. Come on, have a bite. Or rather, I think it's like a quota based on size, maybe? I can't remember if it's sheer number or what. But there's only, there's a maximum amount of fish that will be in the pond at any given time. And then they will slowly spawn in more. <laughs> spawn in. Because it is like fish. They spawn? I suppose. Most creatures spawn. Did you guys ever read Spawn? It's an interesting comic. It's certainly very, uh, very much of its time. You know, the 90s or so. It's very, very edgy, but it's super cool. 
I'm personally a fan of the HBO animated series. I always thought that was a really good adaptation. Um, and then I liked... I like the movie. The movie's not very good, but I like it. Um, but the, uh, the game, there was a PlayStation 2 game that was actually pretty, pretty killer. I think Angry Video Game Nerd did a video specifically about Spawn games, and that was the one where he was like, yeah, this is sick. And it's like, yes, it's very good, up to a point. The problem I had with that game is that the maps are designed very poorly, so it's very easy to get lost. There was like a subway level, because it's set in New York, where I was just constantly getting lost and even looking at a walkthrough with pictures, I was like, I don't know where to go though. And eventually, I got to the, uh, the Central Park level and I just got completely lost. I could not finish that. I walked around in circles for hours and hours and hours and I just could not figure out how to progress. But, you know, the combat and such, super fun. Pretty decent controls. Uh, that was one of the first games I got soft locked on, too. I, like, beat a boss uh, that was in, like, a fenced in area, and then I, like, couldn't figure out how to get outside the fence. So I, I like, hopped outside the fence manually, basically. And then I, uh,. Yeah, it like glitched because I wasn't supposed to do that and I just got stuck. Ah. That was back in like high school. That was a PlayStation 2 game too. So, it was pretty impressive for PlayStation 2. That'd be a good one to stream at some point, but I'd have to either get a PS2, which I plan to do anyways, because I want to do uh, American Wasteland, which has not been ported to anything, which sucks. I mean, they only just ported. Pro Skater 1 and 2, and that's like, there there were three Pro Skaters, I believe. And then there were the two Tony Hawk Underground games, and then there was American Wasteland. And then there was like Proving Ground and 8 and the, the Shred or whatever, where you had like the motion control skateboard. But, um, yeah. American Wasteland was the one for me. Like, I played Underground 2 on the PSP, and, you know, it was fine. You know? It's just... I don't know. Something about the open-world aspect of American Wasteland really made a pop off for me. It was a lot of similar stuff to the other games, but I just... I never liked the, like, kind of time trial arcade -y feel of Pro Skater, you know? It, like, never quite vibed with me because I could never quite accomplish enough tasks to feel very satisfied. Which I suppose was the point, you know? You're supposed to always be left wanting more. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on. Give me that fish. Give me that fish. Give me that fish. Ah, dip. Yeah, 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 we're gonna keep going. But yeah, I plan on getting an actual PS2 at some point and just in an HDMI converter. Which I'll need to anyways because I don't have any RCA, like, television anymore. My roommate probably has one somewhere in the garage or whatever, but it's like, no. It's, I can just get an HDMI converter. Doesn't even need to like upscale or anything. <laughs> ah, yeah, big boy. Big boy. How big are we talking? That's a lunker. Nice. Now we got old Baron down there. We got us a cheap cheap. So I'll get that cheap cheap. I love how silly Old Baron looks. Come on now, come on now. Eh? 
fine. I'll give her the, the little guys. I'm not going to bother playing it safe with all these little guys. I'll just mash it, and if they break away, oh well. I'm just trying to clear them out, so you know. Once I get them hooked, they won't be a problem for me anymore, at least. 11 rupees. That makes me my money back, so I'm fine. I don't like how washed out the bloopers look underwater. You know, they just look kind of dull. Not a great look, really. <laughs> Bam, cleared out a spot. A little fish, just like you. It's small, but it has plenty of fight. Nine rupees. Absolutely, I want to keep going. Why wouldn't I? Come on. Come on, bite. Bite for me, buddy. Can you take a bite? Please, please bite. There we go. It's also, I don't think any of these small ones are going to be able to break away. With the uh, heavyweight lure. Yeah, let's keep going. You want it? You want it? Take it. Take it! Come on now, come on now. Eh, fine. Why won't you take mine a bit? Why won't you take my bet? Mr. Licious, don't you want it? Don't you want the bet? Don't you want the lure? There we go. I wish you could skip through this dialogue faster because I don't care. Hmm. Like the number I'm a little interested in, but only barely really. See if I can get this guy. Come on now. Do you want it? Do you want it? Come on, buddy. You want it? Take it. Take the, take the bait. Oh, oh. Go for it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can still lose the green guys, but the orange guys are pretty much a guarantee with this particular lure. Oh, easy peasy. No problem whatsoever. Thirteen rupees. Sure. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change... Not necessarily great to do this on the fly. I'm gonna actually increase my auto duck a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crank it a little bit so that no matter what, you can always hear me over the game. So now when I speak, it should, yeah, it'll crank the volume down quite a bit. And I believe if I do that, that that means I can, yeah, I can turn the game itself 
back up to full, and then when I speak, you'll still be able to hear me, no problem. That's good, that's good. As far as I'm concerned, that's great, in fact. Uh, but, with that being the case, let's actually make it down to my headphones just a touch. There we go, so now I can hear myself. And I can hear the game. Yeah, and you guys can hear me, and you can kind of hear the game. I'm talking. So that if I uh, pause for a bit, the game audio will come up, and you can hear it just fine. But if I've got something to say, it will uh, it will hear me, or it'll it'll play me above the game so that you don't have any problems. Like in my recent Mario Golf game where you can kind of hear me, but my uh, I didn't realize how loud the game was, so. Unfortunately, it's not a super great watch because I was, I was doing the golf commentary voice and I don't think it was quite loud enough for the, uh, the ratio to kick in correctly. And I thought the game was being much quieter. If I had gotten very close, like you're supposed to do with the golf commentary style voice, it would have worked a lot better. But as it turns out, I messed it up a little bit. It's fine though, because now with my auto duck set up a little better, a little stronger, I won't have to worry about that. Bite it, you bloody ruckus. You nasty boy. Just gonna wing it out there to get that cheap sheep. Healing him. Healing him, come on. Whoa! Oh. Oh well. As I've said, I'm just here to uh clear him out until I get that blooper, so. Oh. Yeah, there we go. No brab. Not a single problem. No, 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 no. Hmm. 11 rupees. Okay. Let's try and get old Baron down here. As always. It'd be nice to get him, because he's uh, worth a decent amount of money. But uh, I'm here for the blooper. Ah, yeah, so just clearing him out should be fine. Trying to get a higher chance of spawning a blooper. And I think getting rid of a lot of the larger ones will uh, improve my possibilities in that. I wonder if I can get it before any other fish spawn in. That'd be neat. I don't think I've done that so far. Yeah, let's let's keep going. Oh, oh already another one spawned in, huh? Ooh, a green one. Yeah, okay. That's fine. It was just a little side goal. Careful when they do the jump. Overdo it! 
Yeah. You got a cheap cheap. Since when did they swim in these waters? That's a lunker. Hmm. Let's, let's get another boy. Let's get this big old green one. Get him. Take a bite. Oh, take a bite. Right in front of your face. Have a taste, have a taste. Got him. <laughs> so heavy that you wish you got something lighter. That's a lunker. Yeah, let's keep going. Till the day I die, I will continue. Please give me a blooper. I think that's the big thing. Is it's I, it has to be a blooper of a specific size, which is totally random. Hmm. It, the bloopers are already so difficult to get. The bigger fish is, it's more difficult, and just literally getting it to spawn in is already so difficult. I just I want him. I want to be done with him. You know. Ah. Absolutely. Let's keep going. Please, please. Oh, there's a bloop. Oh, he's too small. There's no way he's going to be worth it. Well, let's go for him. He's at least worth something. Ooh, ooh, if he's going to get real close be able to get this one pretty cheap. No. Don't go out. Don't go out. Do you see it? Do you see it, bud? Yes! He's not big enough, I can already tell. Forty-five. All right. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, he was not large enough. But you know, that's a, a blooper in the bag. You know, blooper in the bucket, as they say. You know, fishermen. They say blooper in the bucket. Blooper in the bucket's worth two in the brack. A bring and a brunk is worth zoob and a zap. Two zaps for one zoots. That's the ticket. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's fishing. I ain't even been doing it very long yet. Do I got a dream bigger than that? I think that's pretty judgy, bud. You don't know my dreams? You can dream small. As long as your dreams are true. True to you. bigger than that. Yeah. I wish you could make it fall a little faster. Watch it, 
shit. Oh, come on. I went all that way just to give it a little boop. Right, this tiny boy. No, you're not going to waste my dang time. Get on the freaking hook. Get out of here. SMH. Go. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a lot of work. Oh. Coco had the idea, and I'm going to do it at some point, of um, doing a bunch of different fishing mini games in uh, different games. You know, there's like Far Cry 6, Stardew, there's this game, there's Ocarina of Time. Ton of different games with like fishing mini games. So I'll just go through and uh, play a bunch of them, you know? Play them on Switch. Because currently it's the most stable, uh, stable way for me to play. There's also a PlayStation, I guess, but then I don't get the camera. And I like having the camera. You know, streaming from PlayStation is alright. Uh, I suppose I could connect my uh, webcam, but then it's like... Uh, I need a real long cable. That's... That's a bit silly. Come on, come to me. Nice. You gotta dream bigger than that. No, dip. I did it too early. That's all right, not a blooper. So I'm not too heartbroken. That first blooper that I missed. I feel like that might have been it. That might have been the one. Sure hope not. Sure hope not. like to take this time to remind y'all uh, if you haven't please consider following and subscribing it would help out the channel a great deal and you know I'd love to see y'all hanging out coming back even if you just want to lurk you know just anybody who wants to watch in whatever way they l like watching whether it's being real talkative or just chilling and watching I appreciate you and I hope that, uh, I hope you're having a good time. Because I, I enjoy doing this. And I enjoy that there are people who, who like watching this, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ugh. Real in a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish you caught something lighter. That's a lunker. Ah. Absolutely, let's keep going. Come on now, come on now. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. There we 
go. Come on, come on. All right. Huh. You gotta dream bigger than that. Hmm. Absolutely, let's keep going. Why would I ever want to stop? I'm having the best time! Ooh-wee, if I don't love doing the exact same thing in a game over and over again. For a minor reward. It's, yeah, it's fine. I guess my thing is, uh... My thing with games is that I enjoy playing games, but like I enjoy games for ideas and for concepts. I enjoy games to see their design and how they function, you know? So any point in a game that gets grindy, it, j it just feels like a waste to me because no matter how much I was enjoying the rest of the game, I'm just not getting any new info. I'm not getting any new ideas, new concepts. It's the same ideas over and over again. And there's a lot to be said about, you know, grinding and the mindset and just what it means for you, you know? And there's a lot you could say about it. It's very introspective. Um, the thing that gets me is on Guest Grumps one time, they had, I think it was Rob Schneider. I don't remember exactly who it was. No, it was Ben Schwartz. And uh, what he said, he asked them, do you meditate with video games? And I hadn't thought about it like that, but I'm like, yeah, I don't. But um, my roommate does. Like, he is super big into grinding and like just playing a game over and over, 100%ing it, like perfecting his game. You know, he's been playing Hollow Knight for like years now, doing all of the tiny little hardcore details, playing the exact same bit over and over again. And it's just, he enjoys the flow state of it. He's able to basically relax and meditate through the video game by going into a flow state of just doing the game as a second nature. And I don't know, I guess maybe it's, it, it is just like me. It's like, I can't do that most times, you know? There are some games where I'm, I'm able to tolerate it, but like far too often, I'm, I can't get into that flow state in the same way. I, n I need new information coming in. That's why I like tabletop games so much because there's always something new happening. Or like, um, it, you're always engaged because there, you can't just turn your brain off. You have to like keep thinking constantly. That's what I'm here for. Whereas, uh, It Takes Two. It Takes Two was a great game for me because it was constantly new mechanics, constantly new ideas. Please. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's like made for me. He's right here. I just gotta, just gotta hook him. Oh, two. I gotta back up in case the first one doesn't work. Oh, please tell me that's big enough. Wait a real, oh, it's a big one. Yes! Oh my god, finally! Oh! Oh, thank god! Oh, and it was so much easier than, like, any of the other blooper catches. Nah! I am I'm all fished out forever, my dude. I don't ever wanna... 
do this fishing mini game again. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna change the title here. Finally! That's the last seashell. I finally got all 50. We're gonna go back to the seashell mansion. Uh, oh wait, I gotta... How do I... Hold on. Is this it? Yeah, that's how you warp. We're gonna warp back to the seashell mansion. Seashell mansion. Get our reward. We're gonna finish this game. I'm not that far from finishing. Just wanted to make sure that I got all of the stuff, you know? Oh man. That's it. <sighs> Feels so good. You have discovered every secret. The proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge the perseverance it took. You don't know the half of it, my dude. May fortune bless you wherever you roam. My task here is finished. Wow, bunch of rupees. And... It's the chamber stone. That's the last chamber stone too, I think. Not that I care that much, but you know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll turn that in. But yeah, that's all the seashells. Where? There's Dompe's shack. That's awesome, dude. Uh, I was worried it was going to take even longer, but it all worked out. The reward was nothing that special in the end, but you know what? It's fine. All right. Plus rupees. Ooh. What are you here for? Let me check if there's anything else I need to get to 100% this, because I, I... The secret seashells were a big part of it, but I think there's other stuff to do. Maybe? Let me see. Uh... Uh, links, awakening. Yeah, we'll go to the polygon. I pr always prefer the polygon one because they have labeled pictures. They don't just have descriptions. They don't just have pictures. They have labeled pictures. They get into Photoshop and do it right. Very, very happy they do that. Uh, trading sequence. Pretty sure I've done the whole trading sequence. Right? Yeah, the trading sequence is how you get the boomerang. The Mario figure. I'm pretty sure I got all the Mario figures. I think the last one is after everything. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, loaded in weird. It's a chamber stone. Okay, I think I have one more to get, but it doesn't show up until after the last dungeon. 
yeah, that's all the collectibles, so. Did the dream shrine and the color stuff, so. Here we go, going to the last dungeon. Wasn't expecting to, but you know what? Yeah, I didn't expect to finish this. I didn't expect to finish this game tonight, but we're doing it. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, I, w I was planning on coming back to this someday, but I thought I, I would have more to do, but it's not really. It's like I, I got it all set up. All right. Come on at me. Let's go in. Here we go, Turtle Rock. Level eight. Fuck a roll. In fact, let me uh switch that for this. Um Oh, I guess I never got the last bottle. Yeah, I have a lot of items missing, actually. I don't think it's really 100% run if I still have three slots for items. You know, why am I wasting my time with this guy? Wow! He busts up into two little fellas. Uh, oh, right. This, this situation. I like this. That's a cool mechanic. And the classic block pushing. Dungeon map. Nice. I was just thinking about rewatching the Grump playthrough of this, so now that I'm gonna finish it tonight, seems like a fine time to do it. Oh, that's right. Link has the weird. It's got the weird flippy jumps. They're not like terrible, but they always like move in a way that feels a little weird. So. Yeah, I, I'll be okay though. I don't need to worry too much. This is the final dungeon, baby. Oh, this guy again. Again? Yeah, he's been in other dungeons, hasn't he? Just a bit. Yeah, you just gotta steal his ball and throw it back at him. Feels mean. But also, he's throwing it at me, so I don't feel that bad about it. Pick her up. Uh, I don't need that right now. I appreciate the option. Oh, well, I just jump. Let's see. Ah, oh, it was a trick! It was a trick! Uh, oh, yeah, I think. Isn't. Yeah, that's the only way to actually full on kill these guys with the boomerang. Off. Not interested, mate. Oh, you think I'm interested? Not in the slightest. I'm actually quite disinterested if we're gonna get into it. Whoa. Oh no, it's just sword. Oh yeah, that was super easy. This is such a good Zelda game, man. Like, for a casual run, for my money, this is easily my favorite Zelda game. Because it's just quick, and it's fun. If you're gonna, if you want something a little meatier, Breath of the Wild, sure. You know, maybe a Wind Waker. Uh, I like Phantom Hourglass, too. I feel like a lot of people are not super into Phantom Hourglass, but I like that one a lot. Um... I don't know, I think people don't like Phantom Hourglass because they couldn't grok the controls. 
Like, they could understand him, they could parse him, but they couldn't quite grok him, you know? And that's, that's really... I mean, it is a problem with the design more than anything, because it's not super well conveyed. But for me, I, I, I got it right off the bat as a kid. Oh, come on, Jiggly Boy. And all these guys take no hits at all. sure no I gotta equip it right how do I L L bumper that's how you do it I don't one of the things I was watching Barry Kramer play through um uh, I was watching Barry Kramer play through Phantom Hourglass and the big thing he kept saying and people in the chat too is like the rules are never consistent and I, I was just thinking, like, but they are, though. They're super consistent. Um, like, I, I don't know. It, I guess, again, it's just me, but, like, the thing is, what they explain is that, in the game, is that uh, you have to make circles at the edge of the screen. And I think that's what really threw people. Is spe it's specifically the edge of the screen. They thought it was just like, oh, just make a circle while you're running. And it's like, no, it's specifically make a circle at the edge of the screen, and that will help. So, yeah, I think it's that disconnect that really threw people, and they just assumed it wasn't consistent, and it's... It is, it's super consistent. It's just, you know, you gotta do it correctly. But again, that's like a design, uh, that's a conveyance problem. Like it should be, it should have been pretty clear. You know, they should have made it clearer what the actual like, the actual controls were all about. Can I know? Can I know? I, oh, hmm, how do I get? Cross. Is there? We need these push. How am I meant to, uh. Now it won't spawn me back down there. Do I have to go all the way around? Say it ain't so! I don't want to do that. I will, though, I will. Whoa. Ah. I do like how quickly you uh, recover from falling into molten lava. Oh, I do need that. Uh, actually, I think it's minus brings you right to the map. Sweet. Uh, I'll go straight up. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, I can just talk. Fill all the holes with the rock that rolls. This is the key. Sure. I don't know what that means yet. Oh! These fellas. Their thing is always getting them st stuck. You know? You gotta trap them against the wall. That's back down where I came from. I didn't actually need that. Got him. Now I'm full on fairies, though. Now, uh, there. 
jump over here. Right, this is the entrance. Okay, so I want to go... I want to go up there. Yes. Yes, this is the correct direction for me. That's me over here. Right then down there. Um. Ice. What can I do about this ice? Perhaps this. Oh no, the item here is flame something, right? Pretty sure it's some kind of flame thing. God. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, oh, check the map. Well, I can swing back around. All right, let's try here. Definitely been down there. Dip again. What am I missing? Been there. How do we get over here, I wonder? Got plenty of key. Or rather, I have an key. I mean, the usual Zelda thing applies, you know? You just gotta figure out what, uh, where you haven't been yet. And you go there. But, uh... Can I... Shows a chest in this room. Oh, right! It's one of these puzzles. Okay. Forgot about these. Got to oh. Got to fill in all the gaps. Get what is this? Okay. Fill in all the gaps and then something happens. Right. It's just a red rupee, which isn't a lot, but that's the uh, revelation of what that was it means quite a bit. Uh, I need whatever fire rod thing. So let's go back. Let's go back over here. Use that thing's little pusher. That, I'm pretty sure, is where the next, uh, next thing will be. Can I do it here? I don't think I can do it on this. Maybe some parts of it, but I don't think you can do all of it. Oh, secrets. Any of these push? No. Oh, wait, I can get over there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around. I can get up to that and I have a key now. So it will be a lot, will be open. I 
do like the little like bleel of tendril that pops up behind them when they fall back in. Seems very good to my brain. Okay, and then yeah, this is another one. Whoops, we gotta fill it in all the way. Tricky one though. Right, you gotta turn it one block early. So all you're doing is telling it to turn that way next. You're not telling it to, uh... Once it has the option, you're not telling it to just turn straight that way. Ba-bam. Ooh, another key. Nice. Have that. And yeah, we're back at the beginning here. Nearly back to the beginning. Okay. Let's move this over here. There we go, and now we can key our way through here. Boy, he's upset about something. That's not a super useful direction. Let's try up here. That was close. I mean, I got tons of hearts, but you know, having the beam, oops, I forgot it doesn't just walk you through. Having the beam is super useful, so. I didn't mean to do that. Not mean to do that. Although that's reversible, so I'm gonna go through here first. And we'll just zip on over. Yeah, on one hand, it's cool to be able to do two different things, but why would you ever not want the feather on one of these, you know? Seems obvious to me that the feather is the best part. Oh well, you yeah, know, I, I guess if that's the case. Can't deny it's a fun game. What am I doing? I can just jump. It's only shaped like that because that's the asset. It's not shaped like that because it's actually a good option to go straight up. God. Yeah, one thing about the stairs in these Zeldas that really irks me is always that you can just go in them from any angle. Do I... Do I sense something? Interesting. No. Oh, wait. I see that arrow on the ground. Bam. Oh, I don't have the key yet, though. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna need our boomerang back. That is pretty good, though. Oh, Gibdos! Don't want to. Yeah, I want to stand in one place too long. 
and the Gibdos kind of force it on you. Whoops. Oh, my melatonin alarm. Hmm. Oh, these guys. Or actually, we're gonna go. Yo. Whoops. Oh. Just gotta wait. Be hungry, boy. Feed him. Feed him snack. Whoa, okay, I didn't know they could flip around entirely. I do love them. Oh! Keep up. Here. I know why the fairies will, like, deny you for a minute, like... It's just a little obnoxious. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Uh, uh, uh. What is with your self? All right, we got him. We got him. Ah, you sneaky Sally. Ooh, almost. Turn around. Oh, he's gonna get himself stuck. That's what I thought. Oh, the chest pops up there? How do I get that? I want it. But I kinda get it. Ah, there we go. It's... Oh, secret medicine. Well, dip. That would be good in, like, most cases, but in my case, it's actually pretty useless. Heck and a half. That means I'm gonna have to go all the way back around. Man, that actually sucks. That's actually much more trouble than it was worth. Oops. I thought they'd go down in time. I didn't know that they were gonna come right back up. I thought they'd be back down in just a minute. It's quite cumbersome, you know. Quit going back up the stairs, Link. That's one thing. <laughs> that's one thing that's really improved by having the grid system. Because you don't have to worry about that nonsense. Because it's not going to get you from just any random angle. Oh no, a single snake. Whatever shall I do? Let's get bomb out. I'm down here as well. I don't even know what's going on with this part of the dungeon. This almost feels like secret areas. Like you're not supposed to be here. Uh, hmm. What does this mean? Oh, some sort of secret. Oh. Well, sure, I didn't even think of doing that. Hey, stop it. Nice. Plenty of keys. Big old dungeon. Oh, well, I've already been through here, so. I don't even care. Yeah, let's 
swing back through here. Oh, actually. Or let's see. I've been. Oh, yeah, I have been here, but on the other side. Okay. No, no, you can't go past, huh? All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Whoopsie. Can I make it across? Probably can. With the hook shot. Uh, oh, criminy. Gotta go around. thing I'm realizing now is I don't have all of the heart pieces and I have three open slots in my inventory which implies that I actually have a lot more to do than I thought so I might not finish this today but I'm pretty close to finishing it I got all the seashells which was the, the main the main trouble so I will be able to uh Represent this before too long, at least. It doesn't sound too bad to me. Oh, hello. I don't think I remember you. remember this guy, so I'm not sure what his deal is. Kind of like... Oh, shot him. Oh, no, you just... You just dodge around his... his charges. Get pot shots in. I was overthinking it. Yeah, that was super easy. Thank you for the fairy. Where am I at in the dungeon? Up here. Gotcha. Well, we're gonna have to come back around, I guess. Hmm. We're getting closer. Just haven't got anything substantially yet to help me. I've gotten to some interesting areas. I've done some interesting things. I'm just, uh... Yeah, I'm just not quite there yet. There's some something missing. Probably the item I get in this dungeon, I would have to assume. Um, to the left there, around. It's just up there. I need to find a switch. That was useless. I don't have a key. Can't do anything with that yet. Let's swing back around to this area, I think. That's my best bet right now. Oops. Ah, oh, no! Oh, I got it up. Ah, straight up guffed it, bro. Dang, Nabbit. Yeah, I'm not certain. Not certain of how to handle this. 
got a lot of stuff, but I still am missing the item from the dungeon. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a quick break, refresh myself, and we will uh, we'll be back in just a minute with more Link's Awakening 100%. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that inner dial. I'll be our back with more Link's Awakening in just a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it till 10 o'clock, so another 47 minutes. And if I'm not able to make much progress, that's fine. I will uh, come back to it, you know, next miscellaneous Monday or so. But uh, yeah, this will be this will be another series again. I I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting to just you know barely scoot through. But it seems like it's actually uh, gone a little further than I expected. So that's pretty cool. A little out of breath. Just did some jumping jacks, as usual. Oh, man. I need to remember to do that first thing on break so that my I'll be caught up, uh, caught up on my breath before I get back on mic. But that's fine. Okay, this is just this is just a replenishing area, so that's fine. Useful. But uh not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a way to advance. I guess it's just gonna be this way. Yeah, I haven't done as much up this way, have I? Yeah, there's the Gibdos there. Don't need to worry about them. I see that up there. I'm not sure how to get to it quite yet. 
Uh, haven't gone up here yet, actually. Oh, no, I have. I'll dip. I don't have a key. In fact, that's probably the key in there, huh? Already did these guys. Where else can I get a key? Uh, I guess I can go down again. Yeah, let's go through this door. This is a little sum. There's stuff to do down here. That took a key. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a shortcut. Ah, oh, dip. Should have done that earlier then. That would have been great to know that there was a shortcut there. Just hadn't gone down it yet. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What's down here? Ow, oh, all this stuff is down here. I mean, it's useful. You know, don't look a gift horse, mouth, whatever. But, uh... Not quite what I'm... Oh, I can go up here! Okay, that's helpful. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a little dark in those corners, but, uh... Yeah, good to know I can just go up here. Where's he at? Where's he at? Get over here, you little demon. You silly little goose. I don't like that the energy beam only happens sometimes. Like, if I'm full health, it should just happen every time, right? It's fine, though. Come on, come down here, you. Get over here, you. Oh, they just ran away. Like the weenies they are. Absolute weenie hut seniors. Fifty rupees. Very nice. <laughs> I always had the thought of like, what if there was someone who Oh, I don't have a key, do I? What if there was someone who knew about Borat's quotes, but had never seen the movie and didn't actually know what it was called? So they just, they always call it like, you know, that guy, my wife. What? The guy, he says, my, my wife? You mean Borat? No, my wife, that guy. Not sure what he's saying, but I know that guy. Whoa, oh, I'm up here. Hey, he's a heart. Maybe I should look for all the pieces of heart. So let's see if there's meat that you get from going around. Uh, do you get a full a sick 20? Ah. Oh. Huzzah. Because, like, if you get a full 20. Oh! Oh, it's one of those where you have to go outside to get it. Why? Where is it? Oh, it's because I left, isn't it? Oh, no. Do I got to re-get these guys? I think I do. Well, that's fine. They're easy to contend with. They're just gooey guys. Oh. Did you get it? Oh, come on, man. Come on now, come on now. There he is. It's actually easier to throw it because they'll, if you drop it in front of them, 
You might not do it, but if you throw it into their mouth, they'll take it. You know what I'm talking about? Do you understand? They will deny it. They will deny it if you try and get it right in front of them. Grabbed. Come on. Come on now. Oh, there we go. So how am I to get that? Can I do the Monbo in here? Work to entrance, I guess. Can go out. And warp up top. Maybe this will work. I don't think it's a timer thing. I think I might actually have to get those gooey guys from atop the ledge, which is going to be very difficult, but I'm a strong gamer. I can do it. Yeah, I guess I got to get him from up here. That's all right. I got plenty of bombs. It's going to be a little tedious because you can only have one bomb at a time. Thankfully, unlike other Zeldas, you can, uh, the wick doesn't go off until you throw it. Yeah, this is going to be a little tedious. Oh, maybe not too bad. Yeah, not as easy, but I've certainly done more annoying puzzles in Zelda games. Looking at you, Ocarina. I'm looking at you, Ocarina of Time. Specifically, the block pushing puzzles into the first temple. Oh, you guys thought I was going to say the War Temple? Yeah, that's what everybody says. I, I don't know what it is, but Zelda fans only have the one joke, man. So, oh, the water temple is so hard. And it's like, yeah, the water temple's annoying. But it's really not that difficult. The 3DS version is a lot easier, too. Because you have the, the, the map on the bottom screen the whole time. So it's, like, not even an issue. And you can, like, toggle the boots on and off from there. So it, the, it feels like they designed the 3DS version specifically to make the Water Temple less of a pain. You know? Are you kidding? That's all I get? That's all I get. Just get a shortcut back to... Bro! Are you serious right now? I am distraught. I am upset. I am disgusted. I'm not pleased. Not very pleased at all. Uh, yeah, that's very frustrating. That that's all that key does. I don't have any answer for this. I haven't even seen a little color flipper.
Let's look at the map. There are, as far as I can tell, no entrances into this room. Ooh. Well, it looks like there's a little light there, though. Which would tell me that that actually is probably a spot to bomb. Uh, what that tells me is that it's probably not actually anything that worthwhile then. But let's go check it out. remember what's down there. I have to check that out in a minute. That is bombable. You can't really see it from here. Okay. We're gonna have to go from the other side, it looks like. It ain't too big a problem, frankly. Now here... Oh yeah, I vaguely remember this. I don't quite remember how to... I don't remember where it leads, but I do remember being in here. Let me switch the boomerang and cow. Cow, yeah, thank you. These guys are more of a nuisance than anything once you know how to, uh, once you have the boomerang to kill them. It's like the shovel, pretty useful, but I pretty much got every bit of use out of it as far as I can, as far as I can tell. Where am I? Over there. Okay. That leads to that, which I don't need. Cool. And then, yeah, we can uh, bomb up here. I'm surprised I didn't see the first time. There it is. Okay. Yeah, the darkness of some of the textures makes it really difficult to tell sometimes. We're all good though. We're all, we're doing good. Okay, now I can finally get this. Which is the fire rod, magic rod. Burn things, burn it, burn it all down! Whoa there, Link. Whoa there, fella. I'm gonna need you to cool your jets for a minute. Now I'm gonna have to remember which... I really should have marked it down. Which uh, areas lead to the ice. This one does not. Um, boomerang. Okay, okay. Right. I have to go around for that, don't I? Well, I don't think that's the correct way anyway, so let's uh let's just scoot along. makes that noise. He's smart, silly. Yeah, here we go. Get all the ice. I feel like there's probably a secret in here, right? Nah, no, nah, it's just for fun, I guess. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful to leave something for you to jump on, huh? Okay, I've done puzzles like that. I don't have a key. That's okay. Hold on, let me actually... Yeah, let me put a pin. Here, spade. Goes to spade. That I remember. That one goes outside. 
was helpful. At a certain point. Don't need it now, though. Pretty much ignore that. Oh, right, I do have to kill all of them to reopen this, don't I? Or do... Oh, can I not go back through here? Oh, right, because it's one of those doors. Okay, okay. Gotta adjust. Ever so slightly. That, I think, was one of the magic rod ones. Should have been a little more clever about all of this, but that's fine. <laughs> now we play the waiting game. Ow. Time to do the things that we do. There we go. Oh, that just brings me back here. Oh, shoot. That was a waste. All right. But now we know that this one goes to this one. Oh. I don't think there's more sets than that, but, uh... I out. There's nothing down that way. Uh, there's some goodies down here that I could use. Some bombs, some health, some that. In fact, let me put a pin of a heart. So I'm reminded that that's what's down there. Uh, there's no more staircases down here, so. In fact, let's uh, pin this. Put a square on that because that goes outside. So now I can remember that that's where those go. Where's this go? Um, let's actually manbow our way back to the top. And reinvestigate. Because I pretty much have to figure out which staircase is gonna go out of here into the uh the nightmare. Certainly not this one, because this is the one I started with. But I gotta know. For later. Jump, Link, jump. So sluggish, but you gotta understand, this was uh, the Zelda team. They didn't really know how to handle the jumpies. Okay, so that one is going to be clubs. And... I believe these two are set. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see here. This end is the circle. Oh yeah, this goes to this. So 
So that's the circle. So let's see, these stairs, where did these ones go? I'm right by the entrance, so we'll just go find out. will be triangle stairs. Oh yeah, this might be what I want. Oh, right, I want to be careful. Dip that up, then I. Yeah. Well, it's as easy as doing this. Get it while falling. I can, yeah, I can just drop into that. Easy. Right, this is a trick. This is where I want to be careful. There we go. Okay. Wanted to be careful. Because that's a pain. Ah, that's how you get to the nightmare. Okay, so we're going to pin that with the triangle. Okay, so now I need, I need this key. Right, I can finally do this area. So let's manbow it up. <laughs> All right, now I can finally do that area to get what is probably the last key I need, and then I can swing over to the area that needs the last key. Probably, uh... Probably get some good stuff. There we go. I got literally gate capped. Well, there's no gate, but you know what I mean. All right. Now let's see on the map where do I need to go? I need to get to the spade door. Back there. So let's just swing with Mambo again. Save ourselves a little time. Okay, and then let's double check. Yeah, it's this one. Ooh, almost messed that up. But we're good. Yeah. Yep, yep, gotta be careful not to get the ones that you need to use as a platform. Oh, dip. Boss fight in here, huh? 
I'm getting for zoom. I need some arrows. Arrows are actually not that helpful here, huh? Ooh, he does double space, huh? Stop it, stop it. I don't know you. I don't even want to hurt you. He's a big old bug. I think big old bugs deserve more respect. Just be. And they're bug, certainly. But, uh, you know. You're good guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah, and here we go. Puzzle Town, USA. I think I was actually gonna mess it up, but it didn't let me, so that works out. First try. That's the nightmare key, right? That's the nightmare key, baby. All right, so yeah, now we just gotta Back to the entrance. Get on that triangle. Oh boy, I'm gonna be able to finish the dungeon in the hour at least. I still got some more heart pieces to get, I'm pretty sure. I think. Looks like. Ten more heart pieces, probably. I'll, I'll look it up uh, between streams, basically. But uh, yeah, get stoked on that. We're gonna finally finish this game that I've been working on for quite a while too. Nice. All right, this. Just, yeah, we just do this. It really makes you overthink it, but it's a simple, it's actually more about the physics of your jumps than it is about actually uh, puzzling it out. Yep. And then, yeah, the immediate instinct here be to just go for it, but actually just gotta jump down here. I wish they'd done more with these ice puzzles. This would be a fun thing for the uh, Dompe stuff to be able to set up, but just literally cookie cutter dungeons, you know? All right. Cracklefoosh, you're finished. I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens. Please use a flame guy. Hothead. Blah. He's freaking out. Yeah. Do, I, do I hit him with the magic rod? Probably not because it's fire, right? Oh, I guess you do. But it does it's not a resource like some Zeldas. Where you can like run out. Yeah. Let me go ham. Feels good. Yeah. It's the end of the bloody game. I can't do better. Gotta hit him again, but a bit difficult. Yeah, that is how you hit him. Okay. Guy in there, eh? Yes. 
it's more of a war of attrition, frankly. Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you too are in the dream. Don't get all up on my stuff, man. I'll live my life, you live your life. We'll be good. Nice. The final... The drums. We've got the thunder drum. Oh yeah. Listen to it go. Egg. Egg. Give egg. The egg on the mountain calls. So yeah, I could end the game right here. But it's a hundred percent run, baby, so I gotta get everything. That includes the uh, final pieces. And also I gotta finish off the uh the other stuff, but let me quickly save. Yeah. I should have... I should have saved after I got that blooper. Thinking about it, I could have totally guffed myself there. Alright. See so yeah, how we're gonna swing back. The lucky game. And yeah, I'm just gonna read through a whole walkthrough and see all the stuff that I I missed for uh, for next time I play this. I already had to grind. I I think my big thing with the stream is I'm always nervous about doing anything off stream with a game because it's like, well, it's like documenting and people want to see it, but uh, I did some grinding off stream with Arceus because I knew I'd need to, and you know. With this, I was planning on maybe doing it, but looks like looks like it's all good. All right, move right. Stop. Forward. Stop. Get him. Grab. Oh jeez. Oh, he's wiggling. Got him. No! Oh, you rolled out! That's some nonsense, dude. That's so dumb. Come on, he's right there! Oh! I mean, it's already so cheap. And I got plenty of money. I'm not that worried about it or anything. It's just like, what the dip? Ooh, ooh. Ah, it almost rolled over. Yeah, let's challenge again. Grab it. Or at least, yes. Uh. I'll accept that. I got it. Jeez Louise. What a ripoff this game is. What a rip. No. What? Wait a minute. No. I can't get it? Kidding me, it's stuck there, but it doesn't count. Let's see if maybe if I grab this, it'll knock it loose. Oh, oh it, it went specifically around it. Oh, 
come back, come back. No. I had like a perfect method for that before. This is a nightmare. This is actually a nightmare. <laughs> Can I, like... I can't swipe it with my sword or anything. It's right there! Can you jump? No? Oh, my God. Oh, that's so annoying. I got it! And it won't let me take it. Oof. Yeah. Angry. Like, make it physics, but as soon as it gets on the thing, just, like, let it just go. Don't get stuck again. Oh. There we go. Okay. No. Let me grab the... Let me grab it. There we go. Pokies. Then I gotta remember where it goes. Somewhere in the village. On here. Although, the phone house's song is the best song. No, I already filled your pedestals. There's none in the library. I believe I've done both of these. Is this it? No, Bow Wow is the last one, so I have to come back around for Bow Wow. So let's uh let's check the other houses. Nope, your guys, you guys are full up. It's gotta be up here, right? Oh, yep, here. Nope. Place it. Go get the Bow Wow figure. Okay. We're gonna finish off this mission. We're not? I guess maybe you don't get that until, uh, after you do the windfish, somehow? I don't know. I think, well, okay, I think actually there's the last dungeon in the windfish. I don't remember exactly. Like I said, I'm gonna look it all up. Oh, I'm just shy. Well, I'll... I'll go farm for, like, 14 rupees. It takes, like, barely any time. Because of this field here. special in here. Oh, a number, another chamber stone, huh? How many you got? Just infinite? I don't know, but that'll do it for today. Well, uh, 
Yeah, we'll continue another day to get all those last straggly bits before the end, but thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't, please take the time to follow and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Check out my socials down below, which has my you know, Twitter, my YouTube, my stream archive, which is also on YouTube. That's all my past streams. Check it out. I've done some fun ones, a lot of marathon ones and stuff. Uh, and yeah, my Discord, which I'm gonna really beef up. I'm gonna do that sometime this week. Just like, yeah, really, really make it someplace fun to be. Um, yeah, we're gonna raid over to someone, but I'll see you guys on Friday for more Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see who there is to raid over to tonight. Who is going still? Ooh, a lot of folks going. Ah, Wolf Thunder. I have not raided over to Wolf Thunder in quite a while. Wolf Thunder 117. All right. We'll raid over to Wolf Thunder. The raid has been created. All right. So yeah, let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see y'all on Friday. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.